You know, one of the greatest struggles as a woman or a mom in today's world is the ability to manage yourself, your own needs, in the face of the rest of your life. It's one thing to get married, it's another to have kids, but you see, what happens in life when you try to put it all together is often chaos. See, when I finished my plastic surgery training, I thought my only purpose in life was becoming the greatest facial surgeon on the planet. I built myself into a one-of-a-kind, the world-over doctor, board-certified in two facial plastic surgical specialties, and an expert in facial skin cancer. I built an empire, millions of dollars, patients flying in from around the world. But do you know what I do on weekends? I come here, devising new procedures, new ways to rebuild the nose or make a face look better. I'd come here. Why? Because it was all I knew. I didn't know how to play any other game. I was a one-dimensional douchebag, and I was lost. And I came to realize that the piece of myself I was searching for couldn't be found with more operations, more techniques, more awards or TV appearances. It was and always had been right in front of me the whole time. It took almost dying for me to get it, but nearly dying brought me back to clarity. Clarity about what I was missing. Clarity about the struggles my wife was dealing with that I'd been oblivious to. You see, the great lie in our, in our society that women are told, that they have to do everything a man can do, and raise the family, and keep a household running, and, by the way, always look like they're 20 years old searching and striving for some products that work for this, but with only disappointment at the bottom of the tube, ending ultimately in my office for injections or surgery. This is about the face. It's not about vanity. You see, the most important function of the face is to interact with our world, to make us who we are. On the inside, our organs, our lungs, our livers, our kidneys, they all look the same, but it's our faces that differentiate us. It's our faces that make us who we are. Wives, husbands, sons, daughters, parents, friends. And when aging, genetics, cancer, all try to take it away, they try to take away who we are. I know. I see it every single day. I came to realize that the great irony in my life was that I was helping everyone in the world with these problems except the ones that mattered most. So I started turning my knowledge, my skill, my creativity, and all of the science at my disposal towards them. A tribute to their beauty, to their safety, to their faces. I'm going to show you how the game of the face can be played in 2016. Not five years ago, right now. To consider the possibility that you can have a say in what happens to your face. To keep your own self. To keep who you are despite the chaos that you can't control. Because it's got to start with you before you can turn and expand to your children. Before you can turn and expand to your husband. Before you can turn and expand to your family or to your community. Now I'm not talking about normal people here. I'm talking about women like you and like my wife. Women who grind and scrap and grunt their way through chaos at home, through constant chauffeuring, standing in the rain at soccer games, thanklessly pushing to keep it all together every single day, to be the foundation of their households, their careers, their marriages, who want, who deserve as much control over their identity as science can put forward. Now I know it sometimes feels like a game of survival, just keeping your head above water. And at the end of the day, the one thing she's always had, the one thing that's always been stable for her, the place she's been in control of her body, oh, well, she can't find anymore. So she struggles, and she fights, and she squirrels away extra cash after shopping to spend more and more on products, hoping that one day she might just find the keys to at least some control of that place. On the other side of this page, I'm going to take you on a journey. A journey to a small town in western Washington where a small town kid from Vermont found his wife and found his life again. Where he created out of their own kitchen a path for her to help stay out of the plastic surgeon's office and to help avoid facial skin cancer in the process to help add some control to what was otherwise chaos. 
Now, I built these products to help my wife, to honor her, a tribute to her, to help save our marriage. But you know, really, I built these products to save me. And now, having expanded me, having expanded my marriage and my family, I'm opening this path to you. So if your mom, sick and tired of playing the crappy creams game with active ingredients backed by science that began and ended in a marketing department somewhere, sick and tired of losing your identity slowly in the mirror every single day, or maybe you're simply a woman wanting to do for herself everything science is capable of doing short of needles and surgery and find another way. Well, please enter your email address and I will take you on a journey that you will not forget.